I'm here in the Plague Bear Sewers to talk about special routes. In the past I have made a lot of videos about special routes, but I never talked about them or explained uh, any about them or explained the clues or the technology or the mechanics or what I'm thinking or what how I'm thinking. And I guess another important thing to say is I've made multiple videos about the same maps and special routes in that you know it's a learning process for me just like it would be for anybody else in that so I learned part of the special route and then I'm like okay I want to show that so I show that part of it and then I learn another part and it's all comes from experience um, seeing okay this is a uh, a design mechanic or feature that is repeated multiple times across maps so I start to become sensitive to looking for that type of idea or feature repeated or in other maps and it's like okay this is a clue so I start looking for that clue and, or, and then I learn another part of a map say uh, from the Society of Leopold and I'm like okay that I that's kind of a complicated one and I learned from that and then I'm in the temple I'm like okay they've done the same kind of idea um, the features and the you know what whatever the the setting is different and the items are different but the concept is is the same so the important thing is to understand the concept and so this is one I wanted to start with and I plan on doing more of these and this is DD uh, though it isn't part of the DD series maybe it should be in that it kind of fits in that um, progression uh, we it's a, I think they meant us to come here early uh, the other thing I probably should say is that these special routes are mostly found in the, in the majority of the main quest maps. You'll find special routes, and in the majority of the side quests, you won't. But um, this is kind of an interesting one, in, and I'm going to say pivotal because of my experience going to university, in that I kind of had the same experience I feel like players have with this game. I went into my math class and they introduced new math abstract ideas and ways of working with problems and ways of representing numbers and but they introduced the problems that we were working on that they gave us to use these new tools were familiar problems using familiar numbers and familiar sets of ideas so being lazy I just did them the old way rather than learning the new way and it's easy to sit and watch a video of somebody explaining something and you're like okay well that makes sense which is what I did in the recitations but then the, the thing that you you know if you just sit there and it, it makes sense but if you don't go out and apply it to problems it uh I don't think you're learning anything, or at least I wasn't. So what happened is, you know, a month went by, and then the problems were no longer simple, and I had to actually know how to apply the new tools and the new ideas. And I didn't know how because I had never practiced it. So I feel like a lot of players run into that same situation in this game. They start in, and this is their opportunity to learn about these special routes in this map and we're, we're kind of funneled here by the note that's in our on our desk when we enter our apartment for the first time so I think they want you to come here early and of course we talked about these things on the day and we'll and that's kind of why I wanted to continue here and expand upon that we touched on at Grouts Mansion and on the day we kind of introduced these ideas, I'm going to be talking about them more and more here. So this is kind of our 
opportunity and it's I, I see it as a kind of a pivotal map and the problem is it's the catch-22 here as well in that uh, players they're not it's not hard enough that they're forced into looking for alternate solutions and they're not disciplined enough of course you know I suppose that horrible lesson in life experience I had made me more sensitive to these trying to solve these kinds of things uh, and follow them through if I know they're there uh, because like I said uh, I think it's normal to just follow the path of least resistance but the, so the issue is I've never seen a streamer or a content creator um, that played this map that takes advantage of the special route here and it's not and you know I think another problem is unless they watch this video or they see somebody else do it you know or that it's not it's not part of the walkthrough that comes with the UP and we'll talk about that now and that the UP says well here's one entrance And here's your other entrance and it never talks about or gives you any clue that, that there's a special route here and it's it's something that the player has to work out for themselves and at the warehouse we talked about this so what am i looking for here what is and the thing i'm looking here for and i've talked about this with other people before unsuccessfully at the warehouse we saw the same idea and as I said these are things that you'll see these ideas and these concepts these design features you'll see repeated again and again and again throughout the game and at the warehouse we saw these two entrances that were just basically side by side and the discussion was well that's it doesn't make any sense that that, that they would do that and, and but and my uh, counter to that was well if you go through the game and you'll see that they have repeated this again and again the multiple entrances how about you there you go multiple entrances that don't make any apparent sense so that that's um, a clue that there's something special here or it may not be what do I mean by that? Um, so an example of that would be, well, you have four doors that have handles and you have one door without a handle. Now, so immediately to me uh, in screaming letters that says, okay, the door without the handle is part of a special route or it's a bug. For me, it's super important being this, I'm, involved in fixing bug fixes that I'd be able to distinguish between those two and again in isolated instances you could say well this is just you know a mistake or they started to do something here and then they abandoned it and blah 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 and the difficulty there is as I said before if a person is willing to go through the game and look for these things and try to understand the design of these things they'll find that this is repeated again and again and again it's a common co concept that's used over and over if they want to find that if they or they could just have a dogma that says um, a game must be done designed this way and if you design it any other way it's it's you know that's wrong and it needs to be fixed so but that goes to the idea of um, I try to I like to accept things and try to understand things as they're presented to me and I don't don't like to uh, try to force them or pigeonhole them into some uh, dogma dogmatic thinking that I might have but again that's an individual thing that people can go to so so that would be our clue that uh-huh that's something odd that is an odd thing why do they have apparently 
the first two entrances make sense. The third one makes no sense at all. So that that's my screaming, you know, red sign above my head saying, uh, 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 there's something here. Probably that there might be something here. There's probably something here. Be on the lookout for it. And I think if we have a, a target of discipline, we see there's somebody there to talk to. So let's talk to this person. No, I'm just trying to make a YouTube video mostly. But thanks. So now we can do some shooting and some running. A little striking, some slugging. This really isn't working out for us in the most part. So it's time to do something different. And this is where our alternate solution comes in. And we don't have to fight this person. Uh, we don't have to t ever take any risk with this person. We don't want to. Oh, but I do have to open both doors. So that might be problematic. I don't have to open both doors, actually. I could just chill out here, right? But if I do get both doors open, Oh, I can just go. Like I said, you don't have to take any risk. We can open those before we talk to him or ever interact with him and come directly here before he ever engages us in combat. And then, you know, we could shoot him through the, uh, the grates here. But, or just, you know, go have lunch somewhere. Have, some, have a glass of blood and a, a nap or uh, come back tomorrow, come back next week. Do, just the, uh, the point is not taking any risk. Um, there's a, a button for this. Can I find the button? There it is. Swim down and swim up. I said, we can do this without any risk to ourselves if we want to. And this is another thing that, like, if people want to do this, I don't care. If they want to exploit the game, I think it's fun. Sometimes it's the most fun part of the game. And I know. Now, now we see the uh, the nature of having multiple entrances and multiple exits here, and it's the same thing um, we see at the warehouse. We have multiple entrances and we have multiple paths to uh, go into the warehouse and exit the warehouse, and each with a different advantages and disadvantages. And here it's much simpler, a simple idea. But the point being that um, simple-minded idea is just to fight him and only be limited to combat. In, in that case, you have to open the door using this leveler, but if you understand how the uh, wheels work, you can get in and out without um, ever opening that door. And I guess the uh, part for me is that a lot of people that play the game, their main complaint is that 
it devolves into combat, nothing but combat as you progress in the game, which to me is not true because these um, special routes go clear to the end of the game, you know, into uh, Chinatown, into the end parts of the game. They're not in every map, but they are in the majority of the maps. And it's a, if your person understands the mechanics and the limitations of them, then they're there to take advantage of, and you can avoid pretty much most all of the combat, except for bosses. You can't avoid boss fights. So, I believe that's everything I wanted to say, and thank you for watching.